it's a me, Auka. And about 35 minutes after I made the last video, I made it home. As I said, two hours later that I should have, but luckily I don't have anything too major uh, happening tonight. Um, I do want to make a second video because there's a couple of things that I found out between making the last video and arriving home that I do want to share because I told the story about all the problems like with the train and stuff in the last one I did feel I needed to finish that story now that I have some new information so while I get a drink I'm going to tell you that so I told you about the, the, the warning lights and stuff and the problems with that um, as it seemed, no, like they told us to, to the w people that had to go to base had to go via Utrecht, and then go there. Um, but there was no intercity from where I was stranded to Utrecht, so I thought, you know, what I could do is go to Amsterdam Central Station, from there take the intercity to Utrecht, because there's definitely one from Amsterdam Central Station. Because why would there not be? So I was like, I'm gonna do that. I didn't in the end because like it only came up to me like when I was already in the metro somewhere else but mm, as it seemed some there was some kind of suspicious package either on Amsterdam Central Station or somewhere close around it and because of that because of the safety precautions they just stopped all of the trains on and around Amsterdam Central Station. So you couldn't go to it, you couldn't get from it. You couldn't go away from it. So that plan probably wouldn't have worked. It did start a little later, I believe, than base, like than the problems in base, but probably good that I didn't uh, take that route. And like when I arrived at base, I arrived at the station with the bus finally. So if to get on my bike was able to go home. And according to someone that was there at the bus stop to give us some info, not like someone from like a big company, just a traveler that had some information for us, he told us that there were no trains at all for my station. One way was obvious because of the problems with the train tracks and the signals. But we were supposed to be able to come from Utrecht from the other way to actually get to Vase because that, that is what they said when I was stranded in Dijvendrecht. So something happened the other way. Maybe there was a glitch on the other side of the station as well. Or something with Amsterdam, but Amsterdam is the way that I originally was at, which was weird. I don't know what happened, but there were no trains coming or going from my station. So even having gone to Utrecht, taking those 45 minutes to get there, and then coming from Utrecht to Vesp would not have worked because I would have been stranded again. So in the end, there were two moments where I was like, yeah, I should have taken that metro, I should have taken that train, it probably would have been quicker. However, knowing that there was a suspicious, now, knowing now in hindsight, um, there was a suspicious package at Amsterdam Central Station. So that plan wouldn't have worked. With the time I would have spent to get to Utrecht and then to Vase from there, there was already the glitch and the issue, whatever it was, on the other side of the Vase station, meaning I wouldn't have been able to come from Utrecht to Vase anyway. So, in the end, the route I took was quite fast. Not the fastest. I do know a little bit more about like the system now, but I took the metro and then the train, and then a different metro, and then like a bus, and then this and that, and it's so confusing. But I got home. Yippee. Um, so I'm gonna go watch the rest of the Nintendo Drag from yesterday now. And then have dinner and prepare the stuff for tomorrow. The reading contest and the musical. Bye.